Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, transform this photo to this one by using this uh, kernel that has been written by using the uh, metal shader language. So first of all, we need to create a metal file. Uh, you can name it as you want, but the file extension should be metal. You can do it by selecting the new file and select this one, metal file. Give it a name and it's ready to go. Um, this function uh, just transforms uh, the RGBA uh, values from the every single pixel into RPGA by replacing values uh, of the blue and green channels. Okay, uh, now we get our kernel source code and we are ready to wrap it up into the CI filter. Um, you just need to create a subclass from CI filter, uh, create the property uh, CI color kernel and uh, you need to override the init uh, function uh, where we at the first step uh, need to create get the url for this resource its resource uh, you shouldn't put into your uh, project it will be done by the by the system automatically uh, then you need to uh, create the data data from from it and here you uh, should create your uh, kernel uh, by specifying the function name. Uh, this name is uh, called custom transformation, exactly as this one. Okay, here the kernel is ready, and uh, we also need to override the getter output image where we apply our input image if it's here uh, to the kernel. Uh, and basically it's it. Also, uh, there is another one very important step. You need to add this uh, compiler and linker flex to your project because otherwise your project uh, will crash in the runtime. Basically that's it and you can uh, use your custom filter the same way as you do it for any other filters. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please uh, press the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you. Bye.